Hey guys, today we are gonna be analyzing the brand new Scenty Bubbler episode. This has to be one of my favorite season four episodes that we've received yet, and I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. As always, before we get into today's video, be sure to subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. Now, let's get into it. Okay, so the episode begins in Alia's house with her family, but to any of my people that saw the previous trailers for this episode, we know that this is actually just Marinette's nightmare. It seems that Marinette notices that Alia just has tricks out in the open and all of a sudden exposes Marinette's identity as being Ladybug. And her family and Nino are just like, yeah, whatever, we know. Then out of nowhere, we see Shadow Moth enter her house and in this part he was thanking Alia for siding with him and entrusting him with the miracle box. But do you guys want to know the most craziest part from this episode? We saw Cat Blanc. I was screaming at this part. But luckily like I said it's just a nightmare and when Marinette wakes up she is more paranoid than ever and begins to overthink her decision as to whether it really was a good idea to give Alia the miraculous permanently. In this next part we then see the Kwamis assuring Marinette that it's okay and she needs to chill, as Alia is not only a trustworthy but loyal friend, which is proven later on in this episode. Marinette then arrives at Alia's house, where we hear Alia and her siblings saying that they're looking for something fluffy and they need to find it. Marinette, already in the most paranoid state of mind, is freaking out and thinking that not only has Alia lost tricks, but also her siblings are aware that she has a Kwami. Luckily, though it's just a spider and we then see Nino come out of the room because he was scared of the spider. We then see Marinette grab Alia's hand and take her into one of the bedrooms for an emergency meeting to talk and that's where we see Nino attempt to enter the room with them and get rejected. Marinette then goes on to rant to Alia about how realistic her dream felt and begins rethinking if it was a good idea to give Alia the miraculous permanently. But Alia and Trix do the most adorable pound it, and Alia being the loyal friend that she is, assures Marinette that it's okay and she can handle this. Then, as many of us would have saw from the trailers, Alia marched out of the bedroom, looking quite angry, to which many had theorized that it was probably because Marinette wanted her miraculous back, but it was actually because the phone wouldn't stop ringing, and she was curious as to why no one else in the house was picking it up. This is when it comes to Alia's attention, that she is in one of the most dangerous situations she's ever been in and Scenty Bubbler, standing right in front of her, has trapped everyone including Marinette into the bubbles, including the spider. Now the thing is that Alia believed that the Scenty Bubbler she was looking at was actually Nino Okumatized, but as I theorized in a previous video, this was a Scenty Monster. At this point, Alia is contemplating whether or not to answer the phone when Scenty Bubbler does this little winky face and that is when Alia picks up the phone to Shadow Moth. During this next bit of the episode, when Alia is on the phone call, Shadow Moth is explaining his plan and how it can only work if Alia is a part of it and betrays Ladybug. Shadow Moth's plan is that once Ladybug arrived to seek Alia's help, Alia would use her miraculous to create an illusion of Ladybug to keep Cat Noir distracted and ultimately would result in Cat Noir becoming captured. Once the job was done, Alia would give up her miraculous to Shadow Moth and in return, Scenty Bubbler would release her loved ones. If Shadow Moth had actually gotten a hold of the fox miraculous, I have a feeling he would have most likely passed it on to Lila. Now throughout the episode, Shadow Moth continuously warns Alia that if she doesn't cooperate, he'll order Scenty Bubbler to send everyone in the bubbles to space. And so that's when Alia's genius plan begins. I thought this next part of the episode was actually really cool because we got to see Alia do this, which is where she was spotting objects in the way that we always see Ladybug and or Marinette do. Okay, so now let's break down Alia's plan. She begins by making some excuse that she needs to go to the washroom, to which before she can get to the washroom, she trips on the dining table and quickly transforms into Rena Rouge and creates an illusion of herself heading to the washroom while the actual version of herself heads into one of the bedrooms. Alia then contacts Cat Noir to explain that the plan to take Shadow Moth and Scenty Bubbler down is a two-person plan, aka trying to hint to Cat Noir that he will be excluded from this once again. 
which results in him being so frustrated to the point where he destroys a part of the building and says, there's only one plan for two people and it's for Ladybug and me. I've been feeling bad for Cat Noir this whole season, but at this point, I don't even blame him for destroying that part of the building. I just feel like Rena could have worded it a little differently so it didn't sound so harsh like, Cat Noir, you're not a part of this. Goodbye. But as for Rena, she creates another illusion which this time also includes Ladybug. At this point, Shadow Moth doesn't suspect a thing and thinks his plan is going perfectly as he sees the illusion of Ladybug and Alia. And surprisingly, we got a mirror chat scene where we see Marinette warning Cat that he needs to stay here, but considering the state Cat is currently emotionally in, he is so fed up to hear another person telling him this, but ultimately listens and stays. And at this point, Shadow Moth is eagerly watching through the eyes of the Senti monster as to what Ladybug and Alia are saying. Shadow Moth becomes fierce as things don't go as planned because Rena made the illusion of Ladybug say to the illusion of Alia that she can no longer give her the fox Miraculous in order to protect her. We then got some great moments of Cat Noir battling against Senti Bubbler and see Rena cut off her illusion of Ladybug leaving Shadow Moth feeling defeated. The battle between Cat Noir and the Senti Bubbler continues until we see Shadow Moth from behind smack his own son. But then Cat Noir is like, hold up, I can just cataclysm this. Except he got to the point where he was having too much fun and then just gets trapped in another bubble. Alia transforms once again and this time is contacting Marinette. Rena creates an illusion of which is just Marinette sitting looking hopeless when really the real Marinette is standing behind her and is invisible and transforms. She ends up getting her lucky charm which isn't the most useful in this episode but then we see her unify Kalki and Tiki and we get Pegabug. Again, as I theorized before, the coffee cup was what held the amok for the Senti Bubbler and Pegabug, being the queen she is, snatches it out of Shadow Moth's hand and just as Bubbler is going to be used to fight side by side with Ladybug, Shadow Moth snaps him out of existence, ultimately causing Shadow Moth to leave the scene and the battle was over. Now, we do see Cat Noir talking to Ladybug bug at the end and he doesn't actually seem mad, but I don't know how much longer we will see Cat Noir putting up with this. Marinette then thanks Alia because seriously, she saved the day. And I feel like I don't say this enough, but seriously, Alia and Marinette's friendship is goals. And just as the episode finishes and shows the end card, we see this quick scene of Gabriel furious to the point where he breaks the iPad, which if we look closely, the screen has all of the miraculous holders that they currently know of and we get a quick glimpse of Natalie who is still in bed and assures Gabriel that one day Ladybug will make a huge mistake. Now as you guys know this episode is number 14 of season 4 and in the recent trailers we received for episodes like Rocketeer which is episode number 17 it's going to be really interesting to see what happens between Nino and Alia as not only can we tell that Nino is beginning to question Alia more and more. But do you guys also remember this spoiler image? Now, it had been confirmed that this was for Senti Bubbler, but I guess it was a mistake considering we never saw the scene happen in the episode, which makes me believe that we will see it in the episode Rocketeer and that one of two things could happen. Either Alia comes true to Nino and explains that she needs to help Ladybug more than ever, or it would be somewhat like a parallel from the episode Truth where we see Alia and Nino possibly break up for the sake of protecting one another. Now, I think we can all agree that Nino needs a magical charm. ASAP. So I'm praying he receives one in the episode Rocketeer, which is episode 17 of season 4 and airing next Tuesday, July 13th from Gloob at 6.30pm Eastern Time. Now, as I mentioned, we are beginning to see Cat Noir become more and more frustrated in the battles and patrols. And while this is concerning, as we saw in the trailer for Rocketeer, Cat Noir seems perfectly fine and more in love with Ladybug than ever. 
as he's most likely asking for Alia for some advice in the love department. And so with that being said, I don't think we have to worry about him becoming akumatized, but again, this doesn't promise anything considering we've seen in the past in episodes such as Siren, that when he gets frustrated of being left out, he becomes more than willing to give up his role as Cat Noir and or his Miraculous. But to sum up this episode, I found it really nice that for once, Shadow Moth decided to leave the house and actually come and fight. I thought Pegabug looked stunning, I mean, let's be honest, anything that Ladybug unifies with, she always looks amazing. There's a lot of theories that she could be evil, but considering from what we've seen in this episode, it's really hard for me to believe that she is, because the amount of things that she went through and sacrifices that she's taking just proves what a loyal and trustworthy friend Alia really is. But as always, what do you guys think? As I said before, this had to be one of my favorite season 4 episodes that we've seen yet, and in my pinned comment below, I will be linking the episode so that you guys can watch it here on YouTube. As always, be sure to let me know your thoughts and theories down below and subscribe so you never miss the tea on the show you love. And I'll see you guys in the next one.